everybody, David here from Learn Christmas Lighting, and today we're going to talk about Christmas lights. So here I am holding in my hands two strands of Christmas lights. And when they're not plugged in, they look actually like they're pretty much the same thing. But let's plug them in, look at the difference, and see how you can use this on your house. Now that we've got all these guys plugged in, we can see, oh, we've got two different types of lights here. On one hand, my right hand, I can see that I've got some good old regular standard Christmas icicle lights that hang from my house. Now, despite the fact that these are icicles, the point remains, they're regular Christmas lights. And these look great on the outside of your home or even just string across your room or office for a nice ambient atmosphere. But regardless, if you want to make a really cool Christmas light display, something that's dynamic, that's got punch, that maybe follows some music, these guys aren't going to be your best bet. Why? Well, for one, they really don't generally, these LED ones, don't dim up and down well, okay? They don't dim. Second, so they, they only turn on and off altogether and they don't change colors. So when you think about your options of what you can get from a given light, these guys might not be the best for an animated Christmas light display. On the other hand, we've got our pixel friends here. These guys are running the chase light right now. We can kind of see what's going on here. Right now we got red and blue chasing, changing colors. And so pixels are another type of Christmas light that people use a lot when they're building a Christmas light display on their house, much like I've done. And the great thing about pixels is that you're able to control every single one of these dots separately, like I'm doing right here, right now. I've also found that they're a bit more waterproof than these regular Christmas lights that do shed water pretty well, but I've had more issues with standard home store style Christmas lights than I have from pixel lights. When it comes to pixel lights, the reason they're a lot different is that they all change color. And so the first question you might ask is, okay, David, if you've got these regular Christmas lights and these super cool changing color, everyone can be different pixel lights, is this going to cost a ton more money? Because it looks way cooler, right? And so the really cool thing about pixels and about this hobby of doing musical Christmas lights on your home is that it's not overly expensive. In fact, for the cost of the pixels, they're about the same cost as these traditional lights and they're a little bit brighter. For example, um, about you know 50 of these pixels that all change color is gonna cost you 15 to 20 dollars depending on where you get it and if you're just buying one set if you buy in bulk you can save a string of these guys at the home store you know at, at regular prices before christmas is actually probably a few bucks more than that maybe 15 maybe a little more okay and so while this isn't a scientific um comparison you can see they're around the same cost now where pixels are going to start to cost you more is in the control aspect so to control these guys, we're going to need a few more things besides just the Christmas light pixels themselves. We're going to need a power supply because these take a lower voltage. They don't take the stuff that comes out of your wall sockets. And we're also going to need a pixel controller. Okay. And when we add all those things up, it, it's going to cost more. It might cost two or three times more than the regular Christmas lights. But I would argue, if you're looking at the difference between these two types of lights, I would argue that while you can cover a lot of space with some traditional incandescent regular old Christmas lights, the ability to change color, to do chases, to run video across your Christmas display, I think is easily worth 10 times the cost, which these don't cost that much more. So if you want to learn more about how these kind of things work, come join us here on Learn Christmas Lighting and at LearnChristmasLighting.com. Both here on YouTube, be sure to subscribe and like this video. And also on the site, 
I've got helpful hints, tips, videos, and articles to help you create amazing Christmas lighting. So if you're new, if you've never done this before, I want to make this as stress-free and simple as possible for you. Be sure to like this, like I said, and subscribe so you can get all the latest videos as we dive deeper through more topics, talking about how to set all this thing up, how to make it work together so you can create a great Christmas display.